Let's go up to Brisbane now and catch up with journalist and commentator Lisa Goddard. Good to talk to you again, Lisa. Uh, uh, your premier there, Anastasia Palaszczuk. I mean, this is a crack up, right? Last week, she shuts the door to even Queenslanders coming home to Queensland, even if, uh, you know, not even allowing them to go through quarantine. Today, we learn, thanks to Gleeso, that 100 NRL wives and family are coming into Queensland. Happy days, Sunshine State. It's ridiculous, isn't it? How many months have we been speaking about the double standards, the hypocrisy that's angering so many people? Now, every night on the news up here, we're seeing people stranded on the other side of the border who were just caught out by this sudden suspension of you're not allowed to come back into Queensland, even if you're a Queenslander. So it just takes that Queensland hospitals are for Queenslanders to a whole new level. You've got people camping on the sides of roads you know, on the other side of the border because they just can't come home. And then this afternoon, as you say, Peter Gleeson breaks the story Story, that we've had 100 wives, girlfriends and family members of footballers given exemptions to come into Queensland and have just now been bussed into their hotel quarantine. The same hotel quarantine that we were told was full and couldn't fit any more Queenslanders, never mind anybody else who wants to come here on compassionate grounds because they've got relatives who are sick. Goodness gracious, they want to say goodbye to dying relatives. If she's trying to anger the public. She's going the right way about it because I tell you what, they've let movie stars in. If you're a TV star, it's all okay. And if you're a footballer or you're a footballer's wife or a girlfriend, hey, it's a free pass into Queensland, but anybody else, shut the borders. We don't want you. It's ridiculous. It's extraordinary stuff. Yet just yesterday, the Premier was saying we're all in this together. Have a look. We're all in this together. We're all going through the same thing together and we all want to come out the other side. And for me, it's fundamentally important that I do everything I possibly can to protect um, our, our wonderful Queensland lifestyle and our way of life. Yeah, bringing in 100 people from the Sydney hotspot through quarantine. Look, I'm all in favour of bringing in people. Don't get me wrong. I think more people should be going to Queensland. Yeah. But it's a matter of who she lets in and who she keeps out. It's outrageous. Yeah, and Chris, you're right, and it's from a hotspot. It was from Sydney. Now, she also said today, this is an issue, talking about, you know, Queensland and keeping Queenslanders safe, which has been the go-to line. And, look, it, it won the election again. Everybody voted for her up here, or the majority did, so she, she got back in. We've got her for another four years. You know, this is an issue about trying to keep Queenslanders safe, so we'll do everything to do that except we'll let in 100 families, wives and girlfriends of footballers uh, with a special exemption. So forget everybody else. And talking to Gleeso just before, he said that he actually rang the Queensland government and we all know from uh, various reports that she has up to 30 different media minders. Well, he put the call into the Queensland government and that was at 11 o'clock this morning and moments ago when I spoke to him, he still had not heard anything from the Queensland government. He's had all this confirmed through the NRL. So what does that say? Yeah, that's extraordinary. Now, the other thing is, of course, Queensland, perhaps more than any other state, needs open borders for its economy. You must have so many businesses in the tourism sector just desperate to see things free-flowing again. Yeah. Look, for one example, Chris, the Gold Coast tourism operators, who we all know have been hit so hard. Look, the Gold Coast is meant to be the favourite playground of Australians. Well, you shop after shop front down there, it's, it's just a wasteland. And I know that the prediction or the forecast for the month of August was that they would be down $300 million. There Shocking. are jobs on the line if, and jobs that have already gone. You've got you know, the, the, the Tweed and Gold Coast border that has just basically become a bit of a battle zone. And look, we were t you were talking before about protests. Well, look what we've seen unfold there after the, over the last few weekends. People have had a gutful and they want this to be fixed. And, look, I think the only way it's going to happen is if Scott Morrison, National Cabinet isn't bringing these premiers into line. Somebody is going to have to take this back yep. to the High Court. There has to be some sort of ruling. And, look, it may come down to, if it's not Scott Morrison, it may be another political party. It was Clive Palmer last time. He failed to, to get the WA border closed. But, you know, we're heading into a federal election and, as you know, they need to get their candidates into various states and territories, the last thing they need is McGowan or Palaszczuk playing politics and, and closing the borders so that the candidates can't get in to, to do the campaigning they need to do. Indeed, Lisa. Thanks for joining us. Lisa Goddard there from uh, Brisbane. Uh, certainly the federal government's starting to ramp up the pressure. They're going to need to continue that for the good of all of us.